Welcome to another Technical Corner. I'm here with Pete from Vargas. Um, and Pete, Vargas are really well known for, for top quality thread forming tools. Um, you've been making those for over 60 years. But as the TV says behind me, you guys produce much more than just thread cutting tools. Um, tell me the story of how you started to produce um, other tools in the range. The story starts, I guess, from a customer's needs. A customer got in touch with Vargas and asked us a question, can you help me produce this particular product, which I believe was in the medical industry. And it was small parts drilling and milling. So Vargas being Vargas took this on board and we produced a really, really good standard of drill and mill. And what they quickly found was that uh, it was very, very successful, which meant that, you know, it was silly just keeping it for the medical industry. We could use it in all the different industries that we've got, from aerospace to valves, general machining, and so on. Yeah, brilliant. So tell me about the range itself now. Um, th what do they start producing these tools, and then how are they uh, so good for other industries as well? It became apparent very, very quickly that we had a very, very good product uh, going against competitors and testing it in the marketplace. It soon became apparent that they were very, very good, and case studies that we've had against uh, other companies and come competitors, we, we've proven that Vargas, for not just threading products, for milling and drilling, is that they, they proved very, very successful. Brilliant, so you've got a few in front of us. What, what, what are the ranges called? Okay, we've got the V-mill, which uh, we do in three, five, eight, and 12 times diameter, and that's in one millimeter, 0.1 increments from one millimeter to six, and then standard range from one millimeter to 20 millimeters diameter. What were they using those for and then how did they um, spread through other industries? That's right, the V-mills were used on just to put a flap on the abatement to start the screwing process. And then from there, we realized that we could use it in lots of different sectors, for profiling, full slotting. So it's been very, very successful in the automotive and aerospace industry through a vast array of different materials really really good tool from there really good quality finishes mm. and there's some more specialist tooling you've brought to show us here as well as the kind of the standard drills and mills that you guys offer um what's the first kind of tool in the, in the special special side of tooling i guess as we've got down on here the, the next one on from that which was produced in the same industry which is a medical industry to start off with was was a broaching system we do a standard hex and then also a torque system as well that's used on the standard CNC machines or, or uh, specialist broaching heads. And what kind of machines can you really um, apply this on? Is it any CNC style machine? Any CNC style, yeah, pretty much. Uh, sliding heads, that sort of thing. And especially for like the small parts machine, which are in volume, then it, that's, that sort of tool is, is ideal for that. Yeah, we can bar feed loads of bars in and get loads of fasteners out. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, and then the next, the next tool here. The next that. one on from that, again, similar, same sort of machines as that but then this is the thread whirling system which it's a system that works off a driven head on say a sliding head machine or something like that and that's for high volume again on small parts machine and this one's a little bit different what x what other tool have you brought to show us today okay looks like a first mill but what it's actually this is actually for gear milling okay so what we've done is with the technology of grinding that we have we've taken it a little bit further this time and we've put the profile of a gear onto an insert. So you've got the flexibility of an indexable tool. So you can change, you can keep the head, but you can put different mods into the, uh, on, on an insert, into the tool, which allows you to be able to do different gears, different types. We can do splines, racks, standard gears. We can do large mods like this, or we can do smaller ones, which run on a, a solid carbide system. And what this does is it enables the customer, most customers can't, don't have a hobby machine. But this enables us to now produce a gear form without, as it would have traditionally been a, on a hobby machine. So what it does is it enables the customer to keep more work in-house. He doesn't have to sub out his gear milling or his rack milling and things like that. He can now, he's now got full flexibility and control over his own products. And I guess there's a lot of other be benefits as well. It's just that if you can put this, it just, just takes an extra tool pocket in your CNC machine. Um, and you can produce maybe a part in one hit, whereas before it would take two, three, four ups. Yep. Fascinating. So that's really, really useful for a lot of customers producing 
um, loads of different kinds of gear forms. What about a five axis machine? Can you use those to produce more complex gear forms as well? Yes, you can, yeah. Providing you've got something you can program that machine, then we, we can help you out with that as well. Brilliant. Okay, and the, the last tool here is not a cutting tool. What's no, that? it's not. As we said, we're talking about things over and above threading, but then we'll go back to the threading and it just makes sense to complete our range that we produce threads so that we produce a gauge. People need to be able to check them threads so that we have a full range of uh, metric and new gauges as well. Yeah, it's really easy when you have a no-go, no-go gauge rather than having to measure a thread form and so, uh, yeah, and, and get all your measuring equipment out and just get the no-go gauge in. So, yeah. Perfect. So thank you so much for showing us the whole range of Vargas tooling, everything except thread cutting. Yep. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about the Vargas, um, Vargas catalogue as a customer, what can you do? Okay, if you go onto Vargas.com, there's a website there. You've got the e-catalogue and it's very, very user friendly. There's everything on there, just a couple of clicks and you find out the exact tools that you need. Brilliant. There's also another application you can use that kind of helps you with programming uh, your CNC machine with Vargas tooling. How does it work? Okay, that's our Vargas Genius, which again is available online. Uh, it's an app based or it's web based. You can go onto it and it's just a series of questions, diameters, pitches, different lengths and things like that that you need to put into the software and then it will select a tool and it will also give you a program as well. And these uh, Vargas products are available globally as well, aren't they? They are, yes. Uh, as you said, globally. And you can get to them from uh, Vargas.com. 13 subsidiaries worldwide, eight regional sales offices, and four manufacturing facilities. So if you get in touch with one of the subsidiaries or the manufacturing facilities, and then they'll put you in touch with an engineer, and you can, you can move forward from there. Brilliant. So if you want to find out more about Vargas Technologies, how they're going to help you with your production, um, the information is right there available.